sometimes go a little bit. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Thank you so much, Camera Oh, if that thing comes over here again after he nods in that prayer, I'm going to be like, this is my damn dumpy yeah. for real, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leave it dumpy, more it dumpy. Not dumpy. You're the one who attracted dumpy. Yes. Let's talk about that. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lala and today I have with me Monique and Ricardo the owners of Reggae, Reggae Flavors, Flavors and they have partnered with EXO Lush yep what type of foods do you make here we Reggae Flavors we make Jamaican Caribbean American food we make um, soul food you can hook me if you, you want, want to. help if you want to it's both okay. of us <laughs> <laughs> That's how she is. You know, don't, don't, don't watch her. <laughs> yeah. So, firstly, where are y'all from? Because they hear the accent. Jamaica. Yeah, Jamaica. Jamaica. Log on. So, what part of Jamaica are you guys from? Oh, Chirius, I'm from. Mm -hmm. St. Anne, Discovery Bay. St. Anne. Oh, that's where yeah. my mom is from. Oh, yes. Yeah. No wonder oh, you're so Saint sweet. Discovery Bay. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long did you live in Jamaica and what made you move here? Um, how long? I've been in Jamaica for, from ever since. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. moved here when? Um, to tell last year. Last year, okay. And you the same time? Yeah, I moved here with him. We moved here together. Okay. Well, I've been traveling, 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 traveling. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So what made you guys decide Tanzania? First it was her. Mm -hmm. She was the one that motivated me and said, let's go to Africa. I know one day I'm going to go to Africa, but mm -hmm. I didn't know it was going to be Tanzania. And I didn't know it was going to be that soon. So until Monique came in the picture and she was <laughs> in my skin every day. Let's go, go to Africa, see what it's like. Mm -hmm. There's Jamaicans there. They like Jamaican food and stuff. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm not sure about that. Like, I can't open a restaurant right here. Or mm. anywhere else in the world, America, or whatever is why Africa right now. Why Africa? <laughs> so, so why Africa? Why Africa? The pandemic. And yeah. Monique, you can tell them. The yeah, tell them. It was crazy. Um, yeah. In Jamaica, we had a lot of curfews. We mm -hmm. had to get in early. And I wasn't liking that kind of vibe. Yeah. And I knew there had no, to be crazy. somewhere in the world yeah. that yeah. wasn't playing them kind of games. Yeah, the whole, yeah. The whole pandemic have everyone going crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, is it tan because Tanzania had the least strict rules? Um, there's was it no? What the hell? Right. Let me let me rewind. Let me rephrase that question. <laughs> What made you ultimately decide Tanzania? Why not Ghana? Why not Gambia? I can't lie. Originally, I did want to go to Ghana. Ghana mm -hmm. was the original yeah, plan. Yeah, that was the original plan. But at yeah. the time, the Ghana borders were closed. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, what's the next best thing? I continued to research all over Africa, mm -hmm. the different countries. And I was like, okay, well, I love Magafuli, so that place is it. Yeah. Thumbs up to Magafuli. Yes, I R. loved R. his approach on everything. Like, like, that's really what ultimately power. made me choose... <laughs> Funny as hell. <laughs> oh my god. Man, you get licked. <laughs> 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 
Oh, uh, if it's that thing comes over here again after he nodded it up there, I'm gonna be like, this is a damn Duffy yeah. for real. Right? <laughs> Leave it Duffy, money. Money Duffy. You're the one who attracted Duffy, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what tell him. Yeah. What? Um. How long did the process take for you guys to move from Jamaica to here? Um. It was. I don't even remember. It wasn't a, a hard process, but it was crazy to get yourself organized to get here mm -hmm. because they always been changing the process, like oh, changing the plan, the flights, walking borders and stuff. Because mm -hmm. yeah. there was there's a one stop way to get here, which they locked off that that way to get here yeah. at the time. So we had to be all over the place. We went to Panama, yeah. we went to Brazil. Yeah. Oh wow! We went through Qatar and then yeah. ended up over here. Yeah, through that route. Yeah, uh, was it was to wild. To Germany. Really, so the original plan. Good way to go. But they, 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 they closed Germany. off the border. Yeah, and there was two other borders that we was planning to go through, mm -hmm. and they closed off. Yeah, and they said, "Oh, Monday's gonna come up by the end of the month." Has Yo, it was crazy. So we was yeah. rushing. Yo, online, try to figure out. But Before where to go. That's not like me. That's oh just God. like my um, really? process. Yeah. Because no, I went to Rwanda and then I went yeah. to, I was supposed to go to Ghana. They yeah. changed it. We bought they the changed. visa. Wow. They yeah. bought, like, they're making it really hard yeah. for people. Yeah. You know? It's not hard. Anyway, yeah. you can, any route that you can go through, they block you up. Okay, they're researching about here. Block it off. Yeah. They, about here. they block it, it off. Do you feel yeah. like that's intentional? Yeah, intentional. Yeah, they definitely. Know that people is trying to go through this route so much because remember, in this system, it can show where you get the most bookings, mm -hmm. which country you get the most booking the air, um, airline tickets sell from. Mm -hmm. So they can see where everyone is going through that route. So, mm -hmm. oh, all of a sudden, they used to like 600 tickets. Now it's 2,000 tickets. Yeah. What's going on? And they see that the people is not going there to stay. Stay. Mm -hmm. They're going there to transcend to a different country. Yeah. So they notice that everyone is running. Oh. So they're blocking off these borders <laughs> to trap yeah, us I in. Yeah, I definitely believe so. I believe they're doing yeah. that for real. Yes, trap so, us in. Overall, do you feel like you made the right decision coming here? In some point, I think so. I make a good decision because remember, Back in Jamaica, it was crazy with the oh, lockdown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twenty-four yeah, hours I lockdown. I thought it would have been a little bit more lenient, yeah, because yeah, yeah. of how our people are known for. Jamaica, yeah, powerful you know? people. They don't yeah. put up with foolishness people for real. Yeah, and we don't put up with any nonsense. So I thought it would have a different kind of vibe than what it actually mm -hmm. had. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Getting I understand. Intense. So, um, do you see yourself going anywhere else? Or are you here to stay? We're going to be traveling. Yeah, yeah. I still want to visit other places. No, we're traveling. Yeah. So yeah. let's talk about traveling. Let's talk about the, 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 the business. Big, about the business. Like what what does it take to get everything um going with the restaurant business? What what, what are the requirements? Take? Yeah. There's a lot of requirements. We, if I start right now we can't stop. Mm. <laughs> it takes a lot of energy, effort, time, patient, money. Mm -hmm. And there's more to say. Because you got to know people. And legalities. Oh, legalities. Well. Trust me. The yeah. legal part, you got to know what you're doing. So what's the easy step-by-step uh, -step process that you can let them know about starting the business? Starting a business, yeah, the, the rule number one thing I want to say is you better have a plan and you better have money. Mm -hmm. In Tanzania, to start a business, you got to have some cash. Uh, you're not going to come here and get a loan to start a business. Yeah. They don't do loans. So as far as what I know, they don't do loan. So about how for much foreigners. is the cost for like permits, licenses? To get your permit, um, the license is, the, no, the permit, residency is 3500 Am I right? 3500 for the mm -hmm. residency. Okay. There are so many fees. So I'm you have to obtain, no, the fees are crazy. Mind. You have to attain residency to get the business. Residency, no. no. Okay. We don't. Okay. Because you can register the business first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and you can get the residency last. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you register your business, then you get the work the, permit, the work then permit. you get the residency. The work permit is like one thousand something US dollars. Everything mm. is in US dollars. Yeah, everything's everything. in dollars. Not because you're in Tanzania, you think that it's gonna be charged Tanzanian shillings. Yeah. And that's the crazy that's the part that I don't like because mm -hmm. if I'm in Africa, why charge me in US dollars? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know they did that for businesses. Yeah. I thought yeah, that was yeah, only yeah. I remember the one US dollars here is like two thousand three hundred T shilling. Mm -hmm. 
So we're earning T shillings, but you want to charge us the dollar? You, yeah, so you got to be pushing like crazy, crazy hard, sleepless night to in business to actually can earn back something because when you. And what you invest in. Yeah, when you invest and you get you know, that money back or whatever, something break even. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you do have a profit, all of it go back to send bills like paperwork. Wow. Residency okay, so permit. overall, how much do you guys think you spent on the overhead to start this business? Um, I never do a, a really check but it was like ten thousand US dollars. That's what I was 10, thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten thousand US. Okay. We so um, about ten thousand dollars you spent on the overhead. Yeah. What about the upkeep? Upkeep. Yeah, to uh, pay your know. staff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of that. Um, so far, I haven't like really pay attention mm -hmm. to checking. Mm -hmm. Have you paid attention? We've, we've done a lot of fluctuating. That's the thing. Yeah. Because originally we started um in house, mm -hmm. so yeah. we're cooking the food from home. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we had a wow. different location aside from where we are now. Mm -hmm. So we were doing stuff there, did the business there, mm -hmm. and then now we've upgraded even higher to this location. So it's it's been changing there's been mm -hmm. a lot of changes in a terms lot of, of fluctuation yeah up yeah down, down crazy this way yeah around. yeah so how is it to um get acclimated with the culture is it easy working with the tanzanians yes yeah, so far so I think far so, so far good. so good so far so good times go a little oh. bit <laughs> what no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> um what is it like working with the tanzanians um is it easy to collaborate with the locals they're so easy going they're so relaxed they're so peaceful i find they're so easy to work with holy holy a little bit slow so little, can be a little bit slow <laughs> oh, yeah, sometimes yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to like keep them you know make them work to according to your pace I feel like there's a middle range mm -hmm. so yeah we're adjusting to them they're adjusting to us so mm -hmm. we, there's like a middle pace it's not yeah. as fast yeah. as we want it but it's not as slow as oh, we're we adjusting want to the it. culture yeah. and yeah. the way they do things and they're adjusting to us and our behavior yeah so, yeah yeah we're adjusting so to we're on other. the middle ground right yeah. yeah so i got a chance to come to you guys grand's opening yeah. and it was a good turnout beautiful establishment well, you were there? yeah the i was actually here oh, for like yeah. five minutes really? but and my baby. baby was hungry you guys oh. were packed yo, so really, how did crazy. that situation work out for you yo first thing i want to say uh, thanks for everyone that's watching this video who we'll turned out to reggae flavors um grand we opening appreciate that support really appreciate it yeah we appreciate the love and i also want to say i'm sorry for those who put in their order and didn't get the chance to get the food and if you do get the food and it was late mm -hmm. i'm so sorry yeah. come back to any flavor so we can make it up back to you yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah. so you feel it was so what, what, what were the pros people. and the cons of this um grand opening the pro Yo. there were so many people the con Yo. there were so many, many people, people right yeah <laughs> yeah Yo. yeah it, it was packed it yeah. was packed and yeah, the turnout was very good Mm -hmm. we're, yo, I'm satisfied. Yeah, yo, the turnout. The, pro, the, uh, the preparation to, to the to the, um, the restaurant opening and that night was like to get stuff in order and maybe I didn't did it properly because yeah. the way I done it was mm -hmm. off. You know because prepared. we prepared for we prepared a, a smaller good. crowd. A smaller no, 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 well, the crowd was good. Yeah, I, I understand the crowd. crowd. Yeah. I understand the crowd. Was what the, I understand what she's saying, yeah. but what I'm saying is. I should have done like a buffet. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Buffet. That would have been yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. For, a bigger, for a bigger crowd. Yeah. You Just to have the food yeah. already pre ready. Right. Pre, because yeah. when yeah. you have so many different people making so many different orders mm -hmm. and yeah. there's one chef. Yeah. So did you guys have a business in Jamaica before uh starting this business? I had a business before in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. what I was type doing of business? corporate oh, training. Yeah, okay, corporate business. training. Yeah. 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 It was a restaurant business long before. Which I is how her. we met. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, well, it's because of food we met. Yeah. Like, everyone know that. Like, been watching our interview, yeah. I know You'll it. know we met <laughs> her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she, she oh you been, guys a couple. Yeah, she always been advertising that, like. <laughs> Y'all met yeah. over shrimp. <laughs> what? Like, right? Yeah, like, okay, she's a shrimp girl, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like seafood. But no, honestly, like, you have to, um, 
you know, make mistakes to learn from it. And we in a new environment in Africa. Right, and you right. have to, you know, uh, learn how to collaborate with the locals. That's yeah. a lot. You know, so the fact that you guys had a good turnout, you were able to learn from the um, con yeah. is a success. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, in the future, what is the vision you see for your restaurant? <clears throat> Franchise. Franchise yes. right through. Oh, yeah. flavor should be like in... 14 different places mm -hmm. in Africa. Let's say 10 different places in Tanzania or even 7. The main thing is we want to go to Zanzibar. Oh, Zanzibar. I should, I should have never said this Franchise said cameras, but merchandise. Yeah. yeah. And also putting out our sauces and seasonings in more yeah. stores. What type of some sauces do you have in merchandise? <clears throat> we have barbecue jerk sauce. Mm -hmm. I have honey jerk sauce. Well, we used to have honey jerk sauce. I, uh, the flirt sauce is barbecue. We call it flirt sauce. Just flirt sauce. Barbecue yeah. flirt sauce. Barbecue flirt. <laughs> uh, we have rosella. Barbecue rosella sauce. Mm -hmm. we AKA have, sorrel sauce. Yes, yeah, sorrel. <laughs> sorrel. Rosella yeah. sorrel. Yeah. Wow. So you guys going to make me taste that today? Well, maybe it is sorrel drink. Okay. Sorrel Am drink I tasting yeah, food? The food? You're going to taste yeah. the barbecue jerk chicken. Oh! Okay. You know what? I'm going to give her pineapple jerk chicken. <laughs> Pineapple jerk oh no chicken. no no! That, you you was good with the barbecue. barbecue, barbecue. Well, it is barbecue. Pineapple barbecue jerk chicken. We don't want the pineapple. You want the pineapple? No, we don't you want sure? the pineapple. You sure? It's new. No one knows. That's like pineapple on pizza. I'm, I'm not a pineapple nah. on pizza girl. Nah, it's not like that. Okay, well I'll it's try like it. I'll try it. <clears throat> you will so, see. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe the chicken is on the pineapple, but not the pineapple on the chicken. <laughs> So, um, uh, mashed potatoes and maybe rice and peas for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna fix her up. You're gonna see. Yeah, we'll compare to nice this, yeah, come the nice way, right? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> compare to the sauce. Mm -hmm. As I said, we have barbecue flirt. We have the rosella barbecue sauce. We have the pili pili hot sauce. Mm -hmm. That's very hot, very spicy, mm -hmm. very delicious. Okay. It's the best hot sauce in Tanzania, no doubt. If you think I'm lying. Come over and try it for free. Okay. And you receive for yourself. Hey, if you're going to bring it up like that, try it let's see. Let's see. Yeah. What it's Sample. Going. For free. Come over and try it for free. You come in. Sample you size. Say, <laughs> you watch this channel right here. And if you watch Nala, <laughs> what? You will get you will a get. free sample. <laughs> Use my code, Lala so Journey. Say Lala. Lala Journey. <laughs> you don't say Lala, you don't get it. Yeah, you gotta say Lala Journey sent yeah. you. Not, not even sent you. Lala Journey. Free sample. You see for yourself. The best sample <laughs> things in Why did you guys not um, start the business in Zanzibar first? We came to Dar first. Mm -hmm. um, I was in a lot of WhatsApp groups before we came over here and they were just talking a lot about dar so mm -hmm. because it's the city and all of that i figured okay let's just start there and then from there we'll work our way to other places yeah, yeah. and in fact maya hail maya maya speaks she yeah. had helped us to get a place since before we even mm -hmm. arrived she was yeah. like okay there's a spot that's close yeah. right here upon arrival when you guys come off the plane you can check it out so then that was mm -hmm. right here in dar yeah, yeah, and yeah. This it is made this sense place. to have everything lined up. No, it wasn't this place. Oh, it, it was, was another a sea place. breeze. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. And yeah. after that, we moved to other locations. What but, made you choose this place? Um, where we're living. No, Exolush. Oh, Exolush. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a good relationship with with, with the boss of Exolush, mm -hmm. and we are the boss of Ricky Flavors. Mm -hmm. And you know, business people and business people knock it together. Are they Tanzanian? No. But okay. they, they are here long enough though. What are they? What are they ethnic? Um, they're like Indians. Okay. Yeah, they're Indians. You know, I, I don't know the difference between Indian and the Arabs and you stuff. You don't so. want to yeah. call any wrong names. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you said they focus on Indian food. Yes. And and Chinese. Indian, Chinese, and continental food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we also do food as well. So in order to create a spot, because we need one in Mbezi. <clears throat> You yeah. need a spot where you can go anytime and get any kind of food. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. have this chef, they have that chef, put them together and look how much variety yeah. of food you got one all over. One building, one, yes. one complex with so many different varieties. So like many courts. different dishes. Wow. Like yeah. Court. 
<laughs> so it's a all in one type of place. Yeah. You yeah. could get anything. Yeah. yeah. So you can get anything over here. We're like the Walmart yeah. of food. Food. Of food. <laughs> anything you want, you go to that spot, come and here. If we don't have, just tell us what you want and we mm-hmm. prepare it for you. That's how oh, good places. Okay. But there's a, there's, a, there's a question I need to answer. Okay. You asked, asked us before, how do we do the immigration and the, the whole like residency stuff? Yes. And you fly X. That Shout is out to you fly X. Shout out. How do you spell it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, it's the edu fly. It's edu? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Edu fly X. F L Y X. Okay. Edu fly X. That's how you can get your business up and running fast. Is this on Google? Yeah, it's you can everywhere. Google it okay. as well. It's everywhere. You can okay. get your business up and running yeah. fast. You can get your immigration documents sorted out fast. They, How fast? Like, Very fast. Yeah. No time. Chop, and chop. what is this? Like They're, a service? Yeah, they provide yes. immigration travel related services. Yeah. So, so how much is residency through them? Just just, just contact Edufly X. And they look out. Yeah. All no right. pr- further more question. Well, Edufly X is your place to be. There Go you talk have to them. it. There you have it. The best price right now <laughs> is the best price, the best services, and the best team. Edufly X. Check them out. Cool, cool. All right. Yeah. So, on a personal level, what is the culture shock for you guys? Is culture it shock? any culture here? shocks here? Yeah. Well, for she, what's your culture shock? Because I heard you say it's like Jamaica. It's like it, nothing it's, different. It's, it's it's very similar to Jamaica. Very yeah, similar to Jamaica. Good. Yeah. Um, but for me, hmm. you, want, you want to finish? You want me Maybe to if you talk, I'll have it. I'll get some ideas. Okay, for think. me, I'm saying, yo, okay, culture you guys shock. don't know about reggae. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You, you, can't, you can't you can't you not africa no yeah, yeah, yeah. About reggae. and when you talk it's about surprising. reggae when you talk about reggae to them in tanzania they're not talking about jamaica they're talking about like south, south africa. africa like oh, south, south africa. africa no that's not where it derives yo when we tell him that bob marley come from jamaica they're saying where's jamaica what that's yeah, jamaica. yeah 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 that like was what? that we have no idea. That's that why I said, were, you think guys think I'm from America, and now I have to always say I'm from Jamaica. You <laughs> and know, and, and, and like, I've, well. I've gotten yeah. oh Jamaica, yeah. America, same thing. I'm right? Like, no, no, it's not. Yeah. Jamaica, America, not the same. Jamaica, <laughs> our currency Jamaica. is pretty similar. It yeah, is yeah, honestly yeah, 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 close. Yeah. Uh, so, have you lived in any other countries besides Tanzania? Yeah, like Canada. 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 I've you been to Michigan yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, as well. okay. I was in Florida a lot. Like I said, I've <laughs> <with me. laughs> been traveling a long time, you know. Yeah, I always go back and forth, but I always end up right back at home. That's how we met. Yeah. Met. Okay, yeah. so what are your likes and dislikes? Go. You started, not me. About hit <laughs> I'm a whistling, I'm a whistling bird. <laughs> <laughs> On a personal level. Likes and dislikes. About Tanzania? Mm-hmm. I like the culture. I like everyone is peaceful, no crime, no shooting, no looting. Yeah, their idea of crime is not our idea the of crime, crime yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? So we, in my eyes, we call it no crime. Yeah. It is, there is crime, but just yeah. not the kind of crime that I'm accustomed to. Yeah, having yeah. Having to hear about yeah. a lot. Like, so, give me your money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of like that. that. <laughs> no, bing, bang, bang. Oh, no, yeah. no, kicking that. in the doors, mass shooting. Yeah. yeah. No, ra- don't no care raping. About that kind of stuff. <laughs> no you know raping, no nothing like that. It's peaceful, the peaceful country. And I guess the government is doing something good about that so They're doing far. Something right. yeah. They're doing something, doing something right. Yeah, they're doing something right. No accident on the road car. Normally in Jamaica or in America, wherever in the West, crazy accident like 300 person died. Crazy road rage. Yeah. I don't yeah. Road yeah. Rage. yeah. It's road rage. rage. It's road rage. That's it's why people don't really, they don't have the car seat laws and all that. Yeah. Right? Babies. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the thing about I like about here is the road they have speed bumps mm-hmm. even in on, on the highway regular streets yeah speed bumps can you believe everywhere on the highway and there are speed bumps in the everywhere. highway dang yeah, i didn't know that i hate it but then again i get like i, I see the, the, the sense point. of humor of it yeah and i like Why? it yeah because you know what back in jamaica and back in america these places like people accident every day they're racing mm-hmm. bikes bicycle cars yeah. trucks racing and people been dying and each people day in america more, are yeah. rushing Russian, mm-hmm. like 10 persons dead per day each day and more in accidents in Jamaica, in Jamaica, in America, in certain places. key areas, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so they'll put like signs in that area, to yeah, slow to down slow down, down the yeah. traffic, but so it's not gonna like. slow down nothing. That's what I like. What I dislike, hmm, I don't really know, like, 
so the far. food variety. Oh, the food. The food variety. Oh, yeah. yeah sure, we have what, we're, we're coming from a place where there's so much, much variety. variety of food. Which like place? So Jamaica. Many, Jamaica. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. many options for breakfast. <laughs> In America. So many options for lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. many options for dinner. This variety, variety, variety. Right. So what I thought when I got here, I would see equal amount of variety, mm-hmm. but there's yeah. less variety there's than less. what I thought yeah. I would see. So yeah. that's what made you guys say, let's do American, Jamaican food. Well, we said that before we got here. We said that before we got here. Well, well you guys definitely picked the right option. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people was ordering food from us when we before were in we got here. Jamaica and Panama. When I was in Panama, wow, like, we got people calling my, my phone. <laughs> placing orders should I pay to your MPSA? I was saying, what is, what is MPSA? <laughs> so I don't you know what is that. It? Can you ship the food to America? <laughs> Well, now we're working on a way that we can ship sauces and season our products, mm-hmm. merchandise. Yeah. Because we Kenya's want to have... been asking, Ghana's been oh, God. asking, yeah, yeah, as well for <laughs> seasonings and sauces. We're Brazil, working on we have it. some friends in Brazil that we, when I was in Brazil, we make friends over there. They're asking for a season and sauce. They want to try the oh, products. Oh wow! Uh, we have people all over in Uganda. We have people in Zimbabwe. Yes, Zambia. we got your emails. Yes, we yeah. got your messages. Yeah, yeah. England. Shout out to the England posse. We got people in England reaching out to us. Like, shout out to people overall because we get a lot of support over the internet. Mm-hmm. People give us good support. Yeah. And I read all the comments. All comments that we do interview for, I read all of them. They're going to read all the yeah, comments. I read y'all. them all. <laughs> Some tell I try to respond to some of you guys. Mm-hmm. But there's so many. But yeah. I read them all. That's good. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. So if people want to come here and start a business, what are the opportunities you see for business, uh, food businesses that they can open here? Hmm. Like since the last interview, last few interview we have done, and whatever question they ask like that, and we give them the answers, like everyone just come and take over. So um, the, the market is big. <laughs> Like if you want to call the vegan food, vegan food. Yeah, vegan there food. is a yeah. market for vegan food. Vegan yeah, food. yeah. Natural yeah. food. Yeah, I like to buy. natural food. I natural would love to see food. like some natural sea moss. Yeah, um, some sea color moss juice. mixed with um, sorrel and mixed with yeah. you know, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, fruit smoothies with the different yeah. sea right, moss and right. stuff in there. You, yeah. Yo, stuff people like just have to come crazy vegan. because you don't even have to open a restaurant if you don't want to. Yeah. Because. Why well, the point? If you can't cook, you're not a chef. Like some of these people here that open restaurants. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. He's actually a yeah, real like, chef who's been to culinary Oh, school. really? Yeah. How so many? he's not been just there, a done cook. It. So I'm you have the, 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 um, the certificate. Cert- I got my certificate, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Food. So it's not yes. like somebody who's coming just, coming just to open up a food business because yeah. I enjoy cooking. Or this because is I want to make some quick chef. money to survive in Tanzania. Right. Now, because I'm actually a chef. I've been doing cooking long before I even think to come to Africa. Yes. Right. So when I got this here, I've been, been his doing profession. it. Okay. So. Of fact, to show you this, <laughs> when I just got here, I do. I've been doing business the, the, the same week, the first week. Mm-hmm. I didn't get no time to rest, relax, That's true. adventure the country. Because yeah. we had the orders before yeah. we got off the plane. So what yeah. we had done was we were our we were already in WhatsApp mm-hmm. groups. Yeah. So what I was doing was all Marketing. the different foods that he was preparing mm-hmm. um, back home in Jamaica. I was showing them in the groups. Yeah. So this what is what people like. got excited. They wanted excited, to know, yeah. when can we order? Where are you? Can we order now? So yeah. build the anticipation built, before, yeah, before you come Yeah. Before we arrive. Here. Remember, yeah, this yeah. is his, this is his profession. This yeah. is his actual trade. Yeah, it's not like he yeah. came here and saw some people having a restaurant. I was like, hmm, maybe I should do a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 follow the them. crowd. Definitely. Yeah. It wasn't doing. a copycat thing. Yeah. yeah. No, no, copycat. no, no, no. It was no, legit. No. Yeah. You definitely have to, you we know, do something that you're skilled at doing. Right. You know, and yeah. stick with that. But I think this is what's pinching yeah, yeah. a lot of people because they're just mm-hmm. thinking, oh, crap, I got to do yeah. something to make money. What should I do? Yeah. And they just watch what other people are doing. They just put it on the I can do it. But what's your field? What's your profession? What's your mm-hmm. background? What are you good at? Assess yeah. your skills and then go yeah. where your skills are. Don't just do something because you see someone else doing it and it seems like it's mm-hmm. profitable. Yeah. Do something. I actually thought about opening up a food truck. That's oh, really I think a food truck business would be good because I like yeah. mobile. I don't like sitting in one spot, you know. You so around. yeah, do you guys Pop-ups. think that's something that? you would do or something that could be profitable for other people coming here yeah food yeah. truck would be good for other people coming here even people that's already here 
a food mm-hmm. truck would be very, very good because no one is doing it. Yeah, no yeah. One. I've never seen it. There was one diaspora um, guy that reached out to me and said, Oh, Ricardo, what do you, what you think about doing a food truck? But mm-hmm. at the time, you want us to collaborate. And it was okay, the food truck idea, as I said. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't ready for that because I was already building yeah. my business. My name was already there, reggae flavors. And yeah. I'm building. So, and I didn't want to be moving around, moving around. Mm-hmm. I was just trying to set my name and set a foundation. Yeah. You understand? And remember, I was new in the country, so I had to feel the place first and, and see. And we came with family as well. Yeah. yeah. So, it, you have to figure out yeah. schooling for kids, a lot. what stuff. environment to be in with the family, then time yeah. to what it takes to run the family in yeah. a new place, plus established business at the yeah. same time. Yeah. So, we have a food truck for me at the time, it was <laughs> kind of epic, but for anyone that's going to do it, It'll be a, big, yeah. a good idea. Just come with a concept. Your yeah. own concept of theme and see you gotta do this. Gotta... Look, the market is even here for soul food. Because mm-hmm. I do soul food on my menu. Mm-hmm. But if someone just, just going to help open a soul food spot, they can do that. I didn't know soul food would be profitable here just because they seem to yeah. eat a lot of bland foods. You know what? I said the trend. We come and set the trend. Okay. Yeah, because as I said, we got Venice's because she she was here doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, 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 she paved the way. She paved, she paved the way, and Rasta Land is not a Jamaican spot, mm-hmm. but a guy called Biggs, Biggs work at Rasta Land. Oh, okay. as I said, I don't really big up people like that because I'm watching a lot of video and people don't show respect. Or yeah, show, yeah, show but you can still show yeah. love. So, Valissa, so what does she do? Valissa at Rasta Land. Mm-hmm. Well, Valissa and Biggs, not Rasta Land. Biggs. Mm-hmm. So Biggs used to do Jamaican food. But Biggs is so caught up in other business, mm-hmm. but no one then, stuff, yeah, yeah no one then will do it the same way. So yeah. Biggs is a, is a man with a Jamaican food. So mm-hmm. otherwise, and him and Velisas, no one else was doing it. So they paved the way. You have a link for them I can put below. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can look for a link for them. They paved the way. But we, I, she, like the regular flavor team, us, <laughs> together. <laughs> us together, like me, she, the team we set the trend yes and i'm not being too cocky because what you to caesar you have to give to caesar mm-hmm. remember when you go on the on the internet right now and you google jamaica restaurant in tanzania remember i didn't say dara and basically i said tanzania yeah you gotta see regular flavors yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's different, different look video or whatever it is we haven't been here that long so, i haven't been yeah. here that long so we paved the way because everyone else that's coming here now and who's here now open up Jamaican spot, a food spot, mm-hmm. because of we motivate them. Okay, you all guys right. don't want to admit it, don't let me call your name. <laughs> don't let me call your name because I know a lot of you guys and I don't feel no way about it because I feel so good. I feel good in myself you know, that we did this. Right. That's that alpha girl. This is that man yeah. talk. <laughs> Yo. So, besides food businesses, yeah. what other businesses do you see here that can be profitable? Um, let me see now. Um, I can see no. Guys, we need a real station in this store. We need that. I was just saying, mother, even here, the music, the mother music. Yeah, done. that's mm-hmm. my mom has. Stationary has, store. Yeah. She does stationary and graphic designing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, they, there are tons here, mm-hmm. but it's just not at the level that I thought that it would, would be. be. Yes, yeah. yes. So, Tanzania have the opportunity and, and, and it's a place for businesses. Mm. You just need to come and, and, and push because some people do, do not know about the, the type of culture outside. Yes. As I said, they see everyone as American, mm. so you got to let them know that oh no, I'm British or I'm yes, Canadian yes. or I'm Caribbean. You got to let them know, and this is all we do to our culture. So Embrace what about the, the Americans? They just ha- you feel as if they just have to face the overcharging and the. All of us go through it. Not just yeah, Americans. yeah, yeah, it's not really. I mean, all of us. To be honest, if you come to Jamaica, we're gonna charge you a little bit. But yeah, everybody. It does I, happen. I always tell it does people happen. like they. I've met Zimbabwe. Um, I've met people from Zimbabwe. I've met no. people from South um, um, Africa, and they all are overcharged by Tanzanians because they could tell you're not from here. Right, they do the right. same thing in New York when you go to New York, 
and they know you're from the south they're gonna overcharge you if it's a, a um not a set price yeah yeah i mean who's been to duns river falls we have a tourist line and a local line exactly the tourists pay <laughs> differently than local exactly. yeah. 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 yeah 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 so yeah. i didn't go over your pros and your cons what are your likes and dislikes here in tanzania um, I love the culture. I mm -hmm. love the fact that I can have my family here and mm -hmm. I'm not worried when they go on the road at any given time. Yeah. Peace so th that to me is it's such a relief knowing that they can just go outside and I don't have to be worried, worried about them at, them at oh all. Oh my God. So I love that. Yeah. And that Very culture allows for that kind of peacefulness. How much family do you have here? I have three kids. Oh, wow. Oh, girl, you look good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> I got three teens out here. So, what? Teens? Yeah. Dang. So they want to be, you know, out at the mall and doing this and doing that. So yeah, so you don't have to worry. I don't, I don't worry here. That's the same thing with my when daughter. When I'm back home, I want you in before the sun's down. I don't want you out at dark. Yeah, it's you know to feel I mean? so relieving that I could just have my daughter walk behind me yeah. and not have to worry about her getting snatched. Right. You know, or having her run in the yard in a compound that's close you know gated yeah. without even i don't even have to look if everything is put up she's fine right yeah, yeah. yeah. and if they see your little one getting into trouble they'll help the little one exactly. you know what i mean it's like exactly. really a, a community kind so of so what about your dislike yeah. caribou for real yeah the caribou yeah yeah, yeah. Um, my dislike is poly 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 <laughs> the, slow, the slow pace yeah. You? Like I said, I said earlier, the food variety. Oh, I wish you there was did more say that variety. Like earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish there was more variety. Yeah. So that there's no like, other dislikes that I can think of off the top right, of no, my head. Right, no, I can think of. Maybe. The immigration process. Maybe, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. The immigration process. It's it's stressful. Yeah. And it's not, um, it's yeah, not. Yeah, but it's not. You can't be earning t shillings and you're charging your people US dollars. dollars. And then you, you got they want you to leave every 90 days. Or yeah. If you yeah. do get a residency, you can only stay for two years. Uh, yeah. The immigration, so, I wish it was different. And if you I heard process. since recently, um, I don't know if it's true, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Or if anyone can correct me if I'm wrong, I, I, I'm not. I hate to be not like a prejudiced person, but I heard that if we as foreigners, mm -hmm. like if you're pregnant and mm -hmm. your baby is born in Tanzania, that they don't automatically not, qualify for a Tanzanian citizenship. This is yeah. what I heard. I don't know. You're not wow. like, the baby is not a Tanzanian resident. You have to apply citizen. for it. Citizen, yeah. Citizen. Wow, wow, wow. You have to apply I don't for know it. if it's true, but that's what I heard. I don't know if yeah. that's true. If it's true, please tell us in the comments. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I don't really want to know. From what I know, what, what I don't like about the immigration is you hear. Wait, let's wait till that guy walks by. I mean, drugs. Yeah. When you hear, they tell you different things. You hear something from one person, then the another person says something, and then when you go there, it's something completely no. different. Everybody right, tells you something different. You know, that's so right. that's it's what I don't like. Their way might work. Yeah, so, it yeah, might. You know what I mean? But yeah. you just don't know. So then you go there with that anxiety. You know, yeah, in the yeah. immigration right, office. Right, right. Yeah, so that's stressful, definitely. But for young business owners that are coming here, what advice would you give to them about opening a shop, opening a restaurant? What Come with a plan. Mm -hmm. Come with a plan. And money, and right? Money. Cash. I've been saying this time before. <laughs> yeah, Come with capital, cash, you need money. And a business plan. Yeah. You need but 10000 is pretty good compared to america or right. opening something in right. europe yeah yeah right we yeah more over here exactly it, well, it depends so do you see this being a completely profitable business and it ha has it been so far it's growing mm -hmm. so far so good i like how far we were able to get within the span of time yes yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it like we worse. really <laughs> for ourselves in the span of time that we're here. Yeah. What do you think you could do differently to improve what you what's happening now with the business? Marketing. Marketing. More marketing. Yeah. More marketing. More yeah. marketing. Because we do have a lot of um, we have a lot of diaspora clients. You want to mm -hmm. encourage more and Tanzanians to come too. Also, you want to encourage more, more, more. more yes, more. yes. Yeah. It, this is, this restaurant is for everyone. Reggae yeah. is for everyone. Mm. No one owns reggae. 
Do you have a slogan that you go by for regular food? Mm -hmm. You know, people be always saying, yo, you need to create a slogan. I always used to say, yo, food nice, you got to eat twice, but we wanted to eat more than twice. I work in the slogan, you know. My name is Slogan. I As always artist, say if reggae, if, if reggae had a flavor, this would be it. What yeah, type yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. customers yeah, are that, attracted to the business? Is it a lot of Tanzanians that come here or is it more so expats? We well, have both, but we want more Tanzanian crowds to come in as well. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. They're yes. both supporting. We appreciate that. But we want more Tanzanian crowds. More what do you think you have to do to, to achieve that? Marketing. That's what I yeah, marketing. marketing. You we probably need everyone. somebody that speaks like Swahili <coughs> and got, just market got, it on people. social media. Yeah, we got yeah. people. We're getting there. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're growing. So for, so far, so good. All right. In, good. in, in life, you got, you got a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. yeah, we're moving yeah. slowly but slowly. surely. Yeah. Building. No building. matter what, come we don't want to rush and do too much. Yeah, you're gonna crash. Exactly. We want to build. You know with strategy mm -hmm. and not try to push too fast too hard and then mm -hmm. everything just crumbles we have to build it properly strategically mm -hmm. and everything has to make sense so would you go back to jamaica or america to visit to live no mm, why not not to I live i don't think so not i'm not live. sure what <laughs> i would go I, and i am going to be visiting my country for sure live on yeah. visit for sure visit yeah. why not live? ever live we have family, not. We have family there so we can't like separate ourselves from our country yeah, yeah. But we, my parents are still back home um you said you've seen some issues amongst the diaspora that you feel can be fixed what yeah. what are some problems that the diaspora we should work on unity yeah. we don't need one. to be talking yeah. unity everybody's yeah. talking unity but what about yeah. acting unity? Yeah, what they take. Like, do it as a verb. Garvey is one, but you got to do Garvey. Right. And don't say you're doing Garvey and doing something else. Cause you're like the worst than like Steve Harvey. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, Garvey? <laughs> He's saying yeah. you're not no, doing acting, Garvey. Yeah. You're worse than Steve Harvey. <laughs> 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 you know Steve Harvey act. So right. Well, as an actor. Do thing, just do okay, it. I got you. Right. Do. Yeah. So um, I feel like, you know, there's a gap sometimes, you know, and it, it's like we're taking the issues from America and bringing them here, you know, yeah, yeah. and nobody really wants to address the real issue. No one wants to talk about it, but if you come to Chef Ricardo, trust me, the energy you, you, you pay on me, I pay it back at you. You understand? We don't know regret because some people that come here, they need to change their behavior, their mm -hmm. ways. Mm -hmm. and i'm talking about the diaspora like if you come to a restaurant and mm -hmm. you see that for example there's an influx of a lot mm -hmm. of people mm -hmm. there's one chef who's working on meals mm -hmm. don't come in yelling and swearing because yeah. something didn't go your yeah. way don't that yell swear get aggressive yeah. have you had it this kind of thing experience yeah yeah that's a bad experience I mean, a, good, a good experience and a bad experience so the tanzanians are not doing that they're you not doing saying? that. That's yeah. funny, right? My old yeah. people. The, my old people trying to bring me down. Right. That's right. funny. But the diaspora will come in and get all aggressive. Yes, sometimes things are not going to go well. We yeah. are a work in progress. Yeah. You know, yeah, we just yeah. got here a year and a half ago. We're building our name. We're not perfect yeah. yet. We're, you know, right. we're doing as much as we can do. And it's never our goal to make somebody unsatisfied. Yeah. So with that in mind, yeah. if something doesn't go your way, you know, mm. just, just be courteous yeah i mean it's not too yeah to ask, but i be mean, courteous about how it I see don't is, swear is, is, and is, yell and right we yeah, are we are the pioneers you know what i mean people have moved here before us but now it's an influx of people right. from the diaspora yeah. moving here and right. i see us as pioneers you know so when you're a pioneer it's not perfect you're gonna go through issues you're gonna go through all the issues that people don't want to go through and we're you also setting I mean? an example yes for the other the generation we have kids right you know what I mean? we want to be able to role model how it is we should be behaving when we're trying yeah, to build yeah. together and exactly. that ain't it. that's not it at all you know and you have to be patient with one another yeah. especially you know if there's a business that is brand new you know and just now opening is the influx yeah. of um customers black-owned black business a black-owned business at yeah. that which should be some 
patience and um, understanding that we have amongst each other. You know, no matter yeah. what situation you're in, you, you know, you want to operate like a family. Yes. 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 yes, I don't want to say too much because I do want to address this in another video, like the issues that I think that we have that we need to fix. But see, yeah. people don't want to hear those issues. People they don't want to be stuck in the pride. You know, talk mm -hmm. about the issues all day. Yep. Talk about <laughs> unity all day, but it really is. People, it takes a lot. People will come around you and be here and thinking that you're they're supporting you, but. By, by the truth is they're tearing you down exactly and we don't want those type of energy around us no yeah you these know. are the diasporas i'm talking about yeah, some of them is really good really supportive mm -hmm. and they, they're, they're they're like good people mm -hmm. but you actually have some that pretend that they're good and they go around and slaughter your name like mm. take pictures of stuff sit around screenshot that try to cause a problem with young people where do you feel like that stems from that I type of be, behavior the aggressive be, competitive be nature yes. that was driven to you in the west exactly by people who mm -hmm. were not our people exactly yeah. i'm glad you yeah. mentioned it because yeah. you know that's what i see it's it, an yeah. individualism you know mm -hmm. um competitiveness you know, mm -hmm. I, I got a list. And so. it's being observed by the people who come from here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And they're wondering, why are they operating like, like that? that? Yeah, right. Yeah. And see, crazy. people think that, you know, the other people that come here, like the whites, the Indians, the Asians, they don't complain. They do. You know, they mm -hmm. do it in-house. Yeah. They do it in-house. So why can't we have an in-house conversation about what is wrong in the diaspora what is yep. wrong in the people uh with the you know the type of people that are coming here and trying to unite together what what is yep. the real issue you know Yo, some some of these questions they got to ask them because mm -hmm. maybe they have the answer for it, but the truth is they don't right some of them do not have the answer um for their own issue and their own problem so what do you think can be done to improve all this I think if we have a meeting, like a big meeting, and everyone just say, okay, I did this and you did that, because if you do that, it's going to be a fight or argument or mm -hmm. war. But people should just actually come and just like take it like a punch. Yo, I did something, you called me out. Yeah, take account for your, your behavior. You did something, if I called you out. If you did okay. something, apologize. If you know you were really acting I think out that's of time, you know what I mean? That's the Yo, start, no one's start, really apologizing you, you for that. Start. That's exactly. a, this is what being yeah. humble yeah. is. Be it's humble. a way that we have to come and treat each other with kindness, patience, understanding, stop competing, yeah. stop being, you know, this individual. We're not against each other. Why is it that the Asians and the Chinese and all these Everyone people come, come here with zero dollars sometimes mm. and build right. together they from the bottom They know how to up. work together. Right, but who teach us not to work together? And we just take the bait. So, Yo, it's crazy. that being said, y'all, I don't want to go. Us, people said right. to me today that, oh, reggae flavors, you're not a black owned company. Like, I was in a group and they said that. I'm not afraid to talk. Like, no one can fist me in my face. Mm -hmm. Someone said that, yo, you're, basically, that's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. You're not a black owned company. Because of our, to support our, you guys. Our, our goal was collaboration. To collaborate. To have all kinds of foods yeah. in one Just place. Just to collaborate to help. Because there's literally mm -hmm. only one spot where you can get, what's it called? The Grand. There's one the spot Grand. where you can mm -hmm. get a variety of different in, in, foods in over, uh, over a period of hours. So we'd be, we be the second So second we want to be Indar. the second place in Dar that has an option of getting yeah. a lot of food Ooh, variety yeah, in one place. And creativity. not only do we have food, wow. there is. There's shisha here. There's manicures here. There's pedicures here. There's spas yes. here. There's massage. Yeah. There's I'm gonna show y'all all, all of that. There's a pool here. You can book <laughs> us for parties. You, can you know what I'm saying? Right. So this collaboration in terms of business strategy was a good concept. A good, it's a, it's you know definitely yeah. a good. So and why, it was strategic. Why a bad, a bad so why now time? say, oh, that yeah. means you're not black owned anymore? Did I yeah, suddenly like, not become black? Where, like, you know what I'm saying? Place, like, some of these places, like, when <laughs> you go in the center. not black anymore. <laughs> when, I, I ask them, when you go into the center of the town and you're renting a building to do a business, mm -hmm. is it black owned? The white man, the Chinese man, the Indian mm -hmm. that own these buildings, these apartments, these places, when mm -hmm. they're renting, leasing, are your shoppers, is shoppers black owned? No, Jumbo is though. Jumbo is not shoppers, but I see all these people are shoppers and not Jumbo. Right. Uh, we go to Jumbo more than shoppers. I do go to Jumbo that? more than shoppers. See? But see, we're, we're I'm, not, I'm not, you guys I'm not trying to be right. blindsided by, yes, we are going to build each other, but 
yeah, sometimes a dollar is going to go into somebody else's pocket. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's right. money, money it's fluctuates. Happen. Money, money yeah. fluctuates yeah. everywhere. Money fluctuates person. Money fluctuates everywhere. So exactly. yes, we support yeah. each other as much as we possibly can because yeah. we want to build each other. Yeah. But sometimes money is going to go into another pocket. Yes. That's Just life. life. You yes. can't stop it. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. that doesn't mean you're not going to, you know, use business strategy and figure out how you can build and how you can c- cater. I mean, to me, a customer is a customer. Yeah. Black, yeah, pink, yeah, yeah. blue, orange. Doesn't matter who person is, customer. you're my customer. Right, right. right. So if I can um, bring more food variety to make everybody want to eat. Yeah. Then why yes. wouldn't I? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So that's you know. My I thinking. think you guys might have a few haters. We do. But you know, you know do. when do. you think outside Talk of the, the box, truth, you know what I mean. That's yeah. what comes with it. And honestly, you know, whoever's rocking with you is rocking with you. Whether that's the diaspora, the locals, whatever. It's you know, business. but people when you have who business people is going to say mm-hmm. all kind of stuff. You just continue to do your business. Right. Focus. right. Remain Whoever focused. aligns with you is who's going to ride with you to the top and just leave it at that you know right. and yeah. we definitely have some problems to discuss i'm gonna yeah. be holding people accountable because i want to give people the transparency that yeah. i didn't see coming out here and you know what are the problems we have and how can we fix it yeah. right exactly. yeah so where can they find you well you can find us on instagram at reggae flavors f-l-a-v-a-z that's what it, that's flavors. Yeah, a lot of people are saying reggae <laughs> yeah. flavors. Yeah, I'll leave like, it below. But it's not yeah. flavor. <laughs> yeah, so it's flavors, like flavor. when you say it back home. This flavor. is the flavor, baby. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real pot to like wild one. Yeah, it's not, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> so it's flavors. F-L-A-V-A-Z. Z. Okay. On, on our email, reggae flavors, email is reggae flavors at gmail.com. With a Z. With, With a, a Z. Z. So um, A Z. A Z. Yeah. <laughs> and you can find I find a YouTube. Well, Reggae Flavors don't have a YouTube account. Yeah, it does. It does? Yeah. So where is it? Oh my gosh, you don't know. <laughs> you just put it in. Guys, um, if you go to YouTube, <laughs> literally just write in reggae flavors and you'll see a lot of stuff. I'm not a social media person, flavors. so I'm always busy in doing the work on yeah. training mm-hmm. stuff. So she might know more about the social media thing. Um but I'm actually on YouTube with my music page because well. I do dance all reggae. Okay, so, so drop the link. Yeah, drop the link. All Let right. See. How you spell it? S L U G A N slogan. Not okay. slogan. Okay. All right. I'll put all the links one. below, you guys. And I want to thank you so much for interviewing with me. And yeah. you guys feel like home. Yeah. We have the Jamaican family Jamaica. over here. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica, but Americans, diaspora, whoever is Love welcome. You all. And we love you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this interview with Monique and Ricardo. Ricardo. And make sure you guys check out Reggae Flavors. Make sure. And like, share, comment. Show some love. Show One some love. love. Should I be eating the pineapple with it? That's good.
Is it? Yeah, the pineapple sets it off. I'm Andy. We needed this. <laughs> you just had to infuse those flavors. Because you smell the mango. Baby likes it. Thank you. Okay. You guys, this is Rosella. Rosella. Sorrel. Sorry. It's supposed to wash down my food. Because mm -hmm. we killed it, as you see. How was the food? As you see, look at the food. Look she at the food. killed it. She killed it. No, Kari killed it. Kari eats all my He's food. He's like, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rosella. Let's search the Rosella and see. If she like it, then if she don't, then it's okay. What is this mix with? Oh. I should have loved. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. It tastes like sorrel and... It is sorrel. And what else? Ginger. Oh, that's what it is. I couldn't think Pimento. of it. Pimento. Yeah, it's really good. And more stuff. Mm. If she's acting like this for the Rosella, what if she tried the Jamaican beef patties? And the shrimp patties. Do you have them? I have them. No. Well, now they run out. Oh, okay. Order out, sold out, fish complete. Beef patties always run out. Right. Always run out. <laughs> Somebody made an order for 60. What? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I have to come and get some. When I stop by shoppers next time, I'll come yes. over here and get some. You should get some. Jamaican beef patties right here at Reggae Flavors Excellent. In Dar and Busy East Africa. And you got um, the veggie patties too. Oh, huh? the veggie patties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beach, veggie, um, vegetarian, like, Kalalu patties. You know, Kalalu, here they call it yeah, Kalalu is good. Yeah, oxtail patties, cheap jerk chicken patties, and we also have the shrimp patties, prawns. So come over, try. Even cheese patties, we got it. Patty, bami, bami, cucumber. Thank you. All right, then. So, hi, what's your name? I'm in Mgwanjina, I'm Salim, I'm Bakay Sharif. I'm in Tokyo, I'm in Reggae Flavors. How do you like Reggae Flavors? Um, reggae Flavors is good to eat because it's good to eat. You know, chakula cha hapa, chakula cha hapa, chakula cha hapa. Yani, kuna, kuna chakula, kuna delicious food. Yani, hili 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 chakula, kuna hili chakula cha kitama. Kwa hili hapa Reggae Flavors, nani ya Exolash, mutapaki hili chakula kitama. Mbacho, lazima ujilambe vidole. What's your favorite food here? Um, chakula cha hapa. I depend on the food I love. I make the chicken macaroni and cheese. Any macaroni and cheese, you can kind of pasta. And also, I add some cheese. The chicken is very sweet. It's very delicious. Why is my favorite? Why should people come here to shop? Um, why people should come here to eat? Yes. Um, what now? Food is a big one. The food is cheap and good. Mona, chakula ni kitamu, unapata vikula vingi, kwa mda uo uo, na kongrama na kuu. Nelama ni nakuu kabisa kwa na wakaribisha, watu wote wa Tanzania wenzamu na wasua Tanzania, na yungu ni sana Reggae Fever, kalimu ni Exolash. Thank you. You're welcome. Kari, that's how you feel? That's what's up. Aww. 